Okay, Max Payne 3, Double A Gamer for Life. We are in Chapter 7. And uh, as you can see, we're doing a little flashback thing. This is, I guess, the present or whatever. He's gave up drinking. And he's in uh, this uh, Brazilian town. He's wearing this shirt. Anyway, our first clue's up here. You can see the guy through the window right there. Just walk up to the window. That's going to be our first clue. Hey, are you lost? More ways than I could possibly explain. I know you. At the disco with the gun. Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Uh, Anders Dudling from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? Well, I'm uh, looking for someone. What are you doing here? We, we came to help the cause. See, after I retired, my wife, she said I had to do something. And well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk, and, well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. Yeah, oh, it's a wonderful giving back. Whole family does it. In fact, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. Ain't granted steel. Ain't San Paolo, but, you know, I seen things. And people are the same everywhere, good, bad, and different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman about 28, rich, she was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I gotta get back at it. All right, I'll say a prayer for you. Another life lesson I didn't want. All right, well, that's gonna take care of the first clue. There's, uh, I believe, nine of them in this level. And we got six gun parts. Okay, so we're going to be further up in the strip club. I'll have to deal with all the bad guys and then we'll cut in with a clue and gun part. Okay, you find yourself in a strip club, you talk to a dude, you get confronted and you kill a bunch of people. Okay, and then uh, when you first come in, you're on this couch, you just backtrack up here to get your clue. Had De Silva left this there on purpose as some passive aggressive message? Yeah, that's our bad CS guy. From a cop who was apparently too scared to go near any real criminals. It was a strange power play. Um, there's some pain pills back here. There was nothing for me. Back right there, there and then problems. back there. So make sure you grab those. You're most likely going to need them. Anyway, and then uh. We have a gun part in that here. Comforting smell of secondhand beer and exploitation. Okay, and we have one more clue before exiting the strip club. No shooting! Por favor, amigo! No, no! Relax, soldier. You're American? Oh, jeez, buddy. Am I glad to see you? Oh. Fuck me. I've been coming to this shithole town for the last five years. It's like a fucking insane asylum. But it's got the cheapest pussy in the world. Fuck me. I mean, You're in a cat house in the slum, pal, doing who knows what. I'm a businessman, bro. And, and they were fully legal in, in this country. I, I th think. And, and I know how to tip, all right? It ain't my fault, man. It ain't my fault. Don't, don't judge me, all right? Have a nice day. Jesus. What a fucking creep. It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown okay. out of the party. Okay, that takes care of the strip club. Gotten... Okay. As you work your way up through the ghetto here, you're gonna I believe this is called the party warehouse or something. But anyway, can't miss it. You got a padlock there. You got to shoot to get in. But our next clue is gonna be right here. Need more thugs whose Christmas card list I wouldn't be on. This wasn't Commando Sombra real estate. I had to keep moving. Okay, we got to go in here and uh, deal with a whole bunch of bad guys, and then there's going to be uh, a couple gun parts, 
And the next clue is going to be after the warehouse, but we will have two gun parts in there. Okay, so we got into the warehouse. Uh, there's a little bit of a firefight in this building right here. Uh, there's some kind of scoped uh, rifle in there. Anyway, after you uh, proceed down, I went through the warehouse, uh, took care of all the enemies, and our first gun part is going to be over here. In the warehouse, I should say. And then dealing with all the uh, enemies. I did not come across any painkillers to later in this uh, warehouse here. There was two bottles. Okay, our next gun part is uh, further up the warehouse. Alright, our next gun piece is right here. And that's going to be it for this warehouse. And then uh, this is the way out. A couple more bad guys to deal with. And then there was uh, two bottles of painkillers right the there. Okay. That takes care of the, the parts in this warehouse. We will be out in the courtyard next. Okay. After you get through the warehouse and a uh, couple doors, a little cutscene, you get a guy walking around up there. And then uh, out in this yard. We're going to have another gun piece. Okay, and then another clue. Say what clue. you about these hoods. They knew more about branding than a Madison Avenue art director. Tropa Z. Looked like Nova Esperanza okay. had a civil war to add to its long list of reasons not to visit. Okay, our next clue and gun part is a little bit further up. Okay, as you move up, you drop off this ledge right here. Uh, there's a guy right above me who shoots off a pop flare or a bottle rocket or something, I don't know. But anyway, uh, you drop down and the next gun piece is going to be right here. So, that weapon's all gold now. And then before heading up the stairs, this other tag right here. Soccer had gotten Claudio away from the favela, Shrine. But it hadn't gotten him far enough. I couldn't imagine his death had done much to boost the CS's approval ratings in that part of town. Okay, our next clues are further up and then the last gun piece is at the very end of the level. So, we'll see you up there. Okay, as you work your way through the buildings, you shoot some more dudes, and then you drop down, and then you get to this door with all the graffiti on it, and uh, before you pass through it, make sure to get this clue right here Jedi, on the ground. Charity worker, socialite, work with the poor and play with the rich. You try to live in two worlds, eventually you're going to get your life ripped apart. Okay, that's it till we get further up. Way in. Now we just had to find a way out. Okay, we're up in the drug houses, and uh, you get through one, make sure you look for some painkillers up in there, and then you come in here, and you gotta deal with about five, six guys. But before hitting that back door, it's gonna activate the cutscene. Uh, make sure you get your clue in, otherwise you'll miss your chance. So. Assholes have told me about this stuff. Oxidado. They called it rust, packed full of healthy ingredients like quicklime and kerosene, cheaper, stronger, and deadlier than crack, easily marketed to the poor and desperate, all in all, a fine, honorable way to earn a living. Okay, that takes care of the clue in here. Uh, when we walk through here, we're going to activate the cutscene, and then we're going to be out in the yard. We're going to have to deal with some Molotov cocktail throwing dudes, and then uh, our last clue and gun pieces out there. Okay, we just got through the drug lab and you can see the, the glue it up. You jump down and our last clue is right here. I was definitely in Commando Sombra territory. If Fabiana was still alive, she couldn't be far away. 
Okay, that should be it for the clues, and then we have one more gun piece further up. Okay, that's all nine, and we're good. Okay, so we'll see you on that last piece. Okay, our last gun piece, you drop down, the cinematic kind of puts you here, you're dealing with uh, an ambush, basically throwing Molotov cocktails at you and all kinds of stuff. But for going up these stairs right here, make sure you get your last gun piece, which is right here. Okay, so that's going to wrap the collectibles up for Chapter 7. That's it. Double A Gamer Filet, Max Payne 3.